Makeup is one of those things that you might not give too much thought to in the run up to your shoot. After all, if you want to look natural in the photographs, surely you just wear the same makeup that you would wear every day. But unfortunately, that's not the case. The makeup that you wear every day usually won't show up as well in photographs as it does in real life. So it is worth spending some time planning for your makeup beforehand. Some of my clients do choose to have their makeup done professionally before their shoot, but the vast majority choose to do it themselves. So if you're going to do your makeup yourself for your professional photo shoot, how can you be sure that it's gonna look fantastic in the photographs? Well, in this video, I'm going to share six tips with you for doing your own makeup before your photo shoot. I hope it helps you to walk away with photographs that you love and a really polished look. Number one, apply your makeup in natural light. Now, just as the kind of light that your photographer uses to photograph you in will make a difference to the finish of your photographs, so will the light that you use to put your makeup on in. When you're in a room filled with natural light, you'll easily be able to see where you need to blend makeup in and where there are any blemishes or marks that you might want to add concealer. So for the best light, I recommend facing a large window when you're putting your makeup on. And this will give you lovely, even natural light across all of your face. The second tip is to wear a primer underneath your makeup. Now the benefit of using a primer is that it helps to even out your skin tone and helps your makeup to go on more smoothly and will help your makeup to last longer. All of this will help you to avoid patches or clumps or heavy areas of makeup on your face, giving you a lovely even finish. Number three, use a full coverage foundation. As I mentioned earlier in the video, makeup rarely looks the same on camera as it does in real life. And what you'll find is that a light foundation won't look as vibrant and it won't give you the coverage that you're expecting to see when you see the final photographs. So with this in mind, I recommend going for a full coverage foundation. It might feel a bit heavier than usual when you're wearing it, but it will give you a lovely, smooth, even finish in your photographs. Number four is to avoid any makeup that has a shimmer in it. Now, when you're wearing makeup with shimmer, what the shimmer does is reflect the light back towards the camera and it won't give you that look that you're looking for. When you're thinking about makeup with shimmer, it's not just eyeshadows that you need to think about. Also, just check out your blusher and even your foundation. Any mineral makeup or mineral foundation has probably got some shimmer in it and it won't give you a nice finish in the photograph. So I'd avoid those completely. So number five is talk to a makeup professional. So if you're not feeling confident about how to do your own makeup for your photo shoot and you want some advice, you could book a professional makeup artist to do your makeup for you. But if you don't want to go that far, then you could just pop into a local department store and talk to the makeup teams there. Many of the large beauty counters employ makeup artists as part of their staff, and they'll be able to give you the best advice about which makeup is going to work well for you in front of the camera. Some counters also offer lessons or makeovers, and you'll be able to see what your makeup would look like on the day. And then finally, once you've decided what makeup you're going to wear for your photo shoot, make sure you have a few practice runs before the day. Practice with anything makes perfect. And if you've practiced a few times before the shoot, you're not going to have the stress of worrying about what the makeup looks like on the day. You're going to feel confident and comfortable and know that you're looking your absolute best for the photographs. I hope that this video has helped you to plan how you're going to do your makeup for your photo shoot. If you have any other questions about doing your makeup or preparing for a shoot, do let me know. You can leave me a message in the comments below or send me a message via my website and I will get back to you.